Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the R of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy, and I have an autoimmune condition called Alopecia Universalis. Basically, what that means is my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles, and that is why I'm completely bald and balding throughout my body. And on this YouTube channel, we primarily do wig reviews, <laughs> um, but I have done some tips, tricks, tutorials, Q and A's, all of that fun stuff before. I'm also active on a few other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok. You can also find me under the name The Art of Alopecia, and I also have a Gmail account um, if you wanted to shoot me an email the old-fashioned way you can find me or you can email me at the art of alopecia at gmail.com and I would be happy to chat or answer any questions or offer any support you may need anyways I hope you guys are all doing well and thriving in life today is a great day because it is a wig review day and you guys know that I love my wig reviews I have such a passion for wigs they are so much fun I always get the question why do you wear wigs if you're so confident bald? I wear wigs not to shelter or to hide my baldness. It's to help me embrace my alopecia, the fun sides of it. I also love to accessorize with wigs. It's just so much fun. I have the luxury of changing my hairstyle every single day or not wearing any hair at all. So it's a lot of fun. But today, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing yet another unit by Tressalore. I have just reviewed one of their units. It's called California Beach Waves um, a few weeks ago. And if you are looking for a stunning long synthetic piece, I would highly recommend going to check that review out. I will have it linked down below. Such, such a stunning piece. Absolutely blown away by it. Oh my goodness, loved it so much. But anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing their Cheers unit. And I've had this for a few weeks now and I've been playing around with it. And let me tell you, I've been having so much fun. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Before I get into the specs of the wig and the review, you guys know that I love to do a little bit of an unboxing. This portion of the video is gonna be very short because there's not so much to unbox. I have already unboxed this on my Instagram and also my TikTok. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, do so because it was so much fun to film. But basically, this is their box. This is Tressalore's box. It's a good box. It's not as sturdy as most, but it is a good storage method for your wigs. As I always say in most of my videos, I feel like I've stopped saying it, but I need to re continue saying this again. When you are investing in a high quality product, you want to ensure that your storage is also high quality because when the hair is not on your head, you want to make sure that it is well protected and away from any dust or sunlight that could ruin its color. So this this is the box. It didn't really come with anything. There's like some hair care instructions in here. It was obviously nicely wrapped and stuff like that to make the long trip. But yeah, that is the unboxing portion. Alrighty friends, without further ado, introducing Miss Cheers. Oh my goodness guys, she is so curly. This is like the curliest wig that I think I have ever tried, at least for like reviewed, I have never ever tried anything like this before. This is gonna be a lot of fun. As I said, I've been playing around with it for the last few weeks and I found something that works for me to kind of tame the volume of the curls because it's not necessarily something that I prefer. I love curly wigs, but this was just, since I have such a small head, this was a little bit too curly, but I found ways to make it work and let me tell you it is slaying the day away but anyways let's get into it so this is miss cheers let's talk about the specs so cheers is this is the color 24 slash 102 slash r12 i will have that linked or maybe put in a box here or there, you guys remember. And I will also put a direct link um, to it as well, so you don't have to go hunting for it. Let's talk about the more specs. So she is an average size cap. Um, she is a heat-friendly synthetic 
fiber so you can apply heat to this i don't know why you would because these curls are absolutely stunning and the amazing thing about synthetic pieces is once it's made like this it doesn't really go away so these curls will last you quite some time if you take good care of them so i'm so excited to have curls for days this is going to be so exciting and i'm just reading here the recommendation heat is between 275 and 300 Fahrenheit. So it is synthetic fiber, heat friendly, heat friendly, note the word heat friendly. Um, so don't go going crazy on it. Use your own discretion. That's a really cool thing. Synthetic wigs have come a long way. Now you can apply heat to it. You don't always need a human hair to use your hot tools on it. So that's a lot of fun. So she is incredibly light. Um, I'm gonna talk more about the lightness when I throw her on because like I wear her and I can barely feel like there's anything on my head. It is a length, so she has different layers, but she's in between five and a half inches and 10 inches in length. So that's including all of the layers. Anything else? Let's talk about the cap construction. So she has a front lace from ear to ear, which is awesome. This gives you the ability to pull back the wig. It creates the illusion that the hair is growing out of your scalp, which is amazing. Lace is such an incredible invention. Um, so I will be pulling it back later into the video to show you guys. So then we have our ear tabs. These are gonna act as your guide when you are putting it on. These should sit nicely right in front of your ears. It's made out of this really soft um, material. That's also the same material at the back nape, so it's nice and comfy. This is a monofilament top, so you can actually part the hair wherever you'd like. Biggest word of advice, especially for synthetics, because they usually come the same for the most part. When you are unboxing your wig for the first time and you see that the part has like a bit of a zigzag part going on, don't fear, all you need to do is take your comb and create the part that you want. That's the great thing about the monofilament top is it gives you the luxury of creating the part wherever you like, whether that be a side part or a middle part, you have the versatility to do that. Moving on, we have a machine open wefted back. So this really, oh, this is an awesome cap for the summer or for people who live in higher climates because it's gonna help a lot with breathability. As I said, this wig is already light so having these open wefts it's just making the airflow continue and continue you're not going to get hot and then we have our adjustment straps at the back they are velcro so whether your head is a bit smaller or a bit bigger you can adjust it accordingly anyways i believe that is all of the specs that i have for you guys so without further ado let's throw her on so she is super duper easy to throw on and she's also very, very light. Oh my goodness. I have been living my Marilyn Monroe fantasy for the past few weeks that I've had her. I've been like trying it, trying her out with like different styles and different outfits and I've gotten so excited. This is just such a different piece from anything that I have. So I'm so happy that I have this opportunity to review this for you guys because it is really something different. It's bold, it's unique. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. I'm gonna give you guys an up close of this hairline. So pretty invisible knots. And again, the lace goes from ear to ear. So you can, so you do have the luxury of pulling it back, just make sure that it is adjusted accordingly. And even if it's too big, you can maybe throw on a wig grip, it will help um, secure things in place. And as I said, you can part her wherever you'd like, and she will look realistic. Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with this wig. It is so fun, it is so unique. Love it, love it, love it. But anyways, so let's start the review portion while also like styling the wig how I've been styling it. So I believe this is a really high quality synthetic unit. Very, very impressed. As I said before, synthetic wigs have really come a long way. They are an incredibly affordable solution for anyone dealing with hair loss or who just wants to kind of try out different styles, obviously. Wigs are so much fun. So the front lace is just 
everything. It really makes things so natural. And as I said, the, the synthetic hair, it's heat friendly, so you can apply heat um, to style it. These curls are not going anywhere. As long as you're keeping the hair well protected and the sun is going away. Oh my goodness, I need to finish this review before it gets dark in here. I love filming my reviews in front of a big window because I love to show you guys what the hair looks like in front of the natural lighting. So before the light goes away, this is what it looks like. It has beautiful, beautiful colors. I think I lost my train of thought. Oh yes, I was saying synthetic wigs have come a long way. This is a high quality synthetic. I am absolutely obsessed with it. And like the rooting makes things look so much more natural because obviously your, your root is not always like this blonde. So having that root is really, really natural. Okay, moving on. So there are two factors that I look at or that I look for to determine if a synthetic wig is high quality or not. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you my secret. The first is, is the hair shedding like crazy? I can tell you that this wig has not shed once. Like there is no hair falling out on me. There's no hair on the floor. There's no hair when I'm brushing it. It has literally stayed put so perfectly. I am super duper impressed. The second factor that I look for is, does the synthetic fibers look shiny? And the answer to that is absolutely not. This literally looks like real hair. You would not be able to tell that this is not human hair. It looks that good. This wig has passed the test and I'm so happy about it. Also, if you are watching this review and you're not necessarily a blonde or not a fan of this shade of blonde, I can tell you that you can get this wig in so many other colors. There's blondes, there's brunettes, there's reds. It's just, the possibilities are endless with this wig and honestly with Tressalure, all of their wigs come in so many different variations of colors. Um, so I would highly recommend going to check out what they have to offer because they have some pretty great synthetic wigs. And the last thing I'm gonna emphasize before I style this baby is how light it is. I think this is actually how it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to have like bangs or whatnot. Um, I have a really, really tiny head, so I've kind of just been like parting her to the side. But yes, this wig is so light and it's so breathable. I wore her in the hottest climate that I'm gonna get in May of <laughs> living in Canada. I'm so excited to wear her during the summer to see how she holds up. But yeah, I would highly recommend this wig. This review has been nothing but positive. Now, before I conclude, I'm just gonna show you how I've been recently styling her. So I love the curls, um, but sometimes the front can be a bit too much. So if that is the case for you, I've literally just been bobby pinning it down. And that is it. I think that is such an adorable, I mean, I can't really see myself without a mirror, but you can pin it down on both sides if you want. And another way, if you are wanting like a break for the day from your curls, you can actually put her up into this really cute updo that takes seconds. And I'm gonna show you how to make things look a little bit more natural. So I've just been taking a jaw clip. And then I've also been taking a bobby pin and pinning the front down. And then after that is I take out some pieces of hair and obviously the string is still on and then I'm pulling out the hair at the back just to cover that back nape and this is how I've been styling her. I think it's so adorable up and you still get that essence of curls at the front. I'm gonna show you from the back. So again, this is just like an easy style. If you want to break from the curls, you can absolutely throw her up. Just make sure to pull some pieces out and to lower and kind of scruff up that back nape to make things more realistic.
But I think that is it for today's review, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you have watched it up to this point, you guys are the true fans. Thank you so much for sticking through all of my talking. I know I talk a lot. I just try and be as thorough as possible um, to help you guys to the best of my abilities when you're navigating the wig world. Hopefully I've answered all of your questions. And if you have more questions, then feel free to reach out. But again, I would highly recommend going to check out all that Tressalore has to offer. I will have the link down below for this specific wig. And again, this is in the color 24102R12. Again, I will have it listed down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. That would mean the world to me. Email me if you want to. But without further ado, we will see you next time on The Art of Alopecia. Bye guys.